guys welcome back so today we will see one important topic like how to work with the database okay using tosca so i will take a example of one one of the database called sql server okay so we'll see step by step what all steps required to connect to the database and how we manipulate with the database okay so if you don't have the sql server installed in your system then you can download it from google like once you open the google just search sql server management studio so it will show some option like you can go to this option like microsoft learn website if you click on this option it will open one page okay so you need um, sql server studio as well as sql server okay so you can download the sql server from here once you click on this it will ask you to download um different edition which is mentioned for free like express and developer you can go with developer okay and once it is downloaded and installed then you can come here and you can download the uh, tool okay download sql management studio okay this one you can download so this ui looks like this once you download and install this ui will look like this okay so once sql is installed okay then the next step is like to work with any of the database not only sql okay like oracle or sqlite we have to make a connection between tosca and the database okay so how we create a connection okay that is very important so for connection what we have to do just search odbc okay that again depends on like uh, which bit you are using whether 62 64 bit or 32 bit okay you can select one of the option okay now it will open the odbc window okay in that just navigate to system dsn okay and click on add okay once you click on add the drivers whatever drivers available it will display here we need to work with sql okay so just select the sql server and click on finish it will ask few details to enter you can give sql db you can give any name okay sql db and description i will give the same sql db okay and server this is important like it is asking to enter the server detail okay since we are using um, sql driver okay to connect that sql database we need to enter the server name. so from where you will get the server name so if you go to the editor okay sql server editor if you right click on your connection okay then properties okay in the properties view connection properties you will see the server name here okay just select this control c and this provide here okay now go to the next screen no need to mention anything here just click on next next okay finish and then in the last one pop-up will come so to test the data source whether whatever details we have given is correct or not just click on test data source it is saying test completed successfully that means our connection is done successfully now we can work with the sql database click ok ok just click ok before clicking on ok you will see the system ds data source name sql db which we have created sql db in caps ok just remember this click on ok so our connection is ready ok now since our connection is ready we are good to go ahead with our db operations ok to work with database 
we have a standard module available in Tosca. So if you navigate to a standard module, then Tbox X engine a database. Okay, under the database we have different modules available like DB open connection, current connection, close connection, run SQL statement, and TB export module. So this module is used to open a connection with the database, which will ask few parameters. Okay and this is to close the connection and this is to run the queries the, like how we run the query in the editor in the same way you can run the query through this module and the last module is the combination of open close and run sql statement okay so instead of using these three different modules we will use this tbox db expert modules let's let me drag and drop here let me just give database demo test case name okay and tbox db expert module will expect us to provide some parameters okay so we'll focus on mandatory parameters like connection name we can give any name okay like uh, i can give can give SQL connection any name you can give okay the next very important one is DSN DSN I asked you to remember the data source name right we created here ODBC this is this is called data source name SQL DB okay let me copy okay as it is DSN name SQL DB it will ask username password for our SQL server the one which I have for which I don't need any user ID and password okay suppose if we are using uh, like Oracle DB and all well, there we validate through a user ID and password that time it will ask you to enter the user ID and password for as of now it is not required only DSN name data source name is enough this one you just don't need for SQL server now okay this is SQL statement so it is asking us to write some SQL statement here and if we want to fetch some value then we will fetch through result table and close connection is true so once we open the connection we have to close the connection okay so now next part is SQL query so once I go to my database so I have created one table okay I have created one table here employee data which is having three columns employee name employee ID and designation okay so now manually what I will do I will write a query select star from our table name is employee data okay this is one very basic query so once I run the query you can see it is showing two records okay for this employee data table I have inserted only two records okay so from this table first we will see one basic example I will run this query and I will try to fetch the first employee data okay let me copy this query okay copy this query and paste here okay so this query will return these two rows of data okay and i want first row of data first row data okay employee data so what i will give here i will give has two because why i am giving has two because our records first record will starting from second row this will consider as first row okay header and we want first cell value sorry we want first cell value first cell value that is employee id sorry name then id sorry id and we want third third cell which is our designation i don't want to buffer it i don't want to verify it sorry i want to buffer okay so i will give some meaningful name like first one is empty name 
second one is cmp id third one is designation okay so these three buffers i want to store this first employee data okay now let me quickly run and see whether it is working or not so our test case is showing as passed okay you can see result table it is showing buffer with name employee date employee name has been set to value abc123 and tl okay just cross check okay so abc123 and tl this is what we were expecting okay so this is how we run the query and fetch the data now you can instead of using the index like hash1 and all you can directly use the column names also like emp name as it is we have to give just see carefully emp name then emp id and then designation okay designation okay now let me run and show you it should fetch the same data test case has passed you can see the employee name abc123 and tl it is fetching the same data okay so this is just to fetch the data same way you can update also you can pass the update query whatever query you run here the same query can be run through tosk also okay once you do update any update then we have to commit the query okay because once you update in the um, um, editor also you commit the code right same way you have to commit so for that also what you will do you will copy the same steps here copy paste the same step in sql statement you will just pass commit that's it in the next step so it will commit your record okay it's very simple guys okay yeah that's all for this db connection and how we fetch the data from db okay thank you bye bye